Okay, I promised I would show you how to make custom folders for your PC. In the last video, I showed you how to do it with the Mac. And the Mac actually used a application called Folder Factory. And unfortunately with the PC, I haven't found a good application to make custom folders. So I use Photoshop and I've actually created a template in Photoshop and if anybody wants that folder you can just email me and I will email you the folder the the folder template excuse me okay so what you're looking at here is we are in Photoshop and let me just show you what that file looks like it's a PSD file and a PSD file can be opened in Photoshop, Photoshop Elements. There's a couple online um, editors that you can open it in. Anything that will open a PS PSD file is what you can what you can um, open it with. Okay, so here we are. I'm using Photoshop, so I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop. If you're familiar with another program, I'm sure you'll be able to follow along and. Um, get through it. So this file is made up of two layers. I've got the front and the back. And if I click on the the eyeballs next to the the layers themselves, it hides it. Okay, so that's how I know that's the back one because I can blink it on and off. And then the front one I can blink on and off. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to fill this shape with a fabric and then I want to fill this shape with a color. So what I'm going to do since I have this shape highlighted I'm going to create a new layer above it so that's a new blank layer and then I'm going to highlight the back and I'm also going to create a new blank layer above it. Okay so like I said the front I'm going to put a fabric on. So I'm going to highlight the layer above the front and drag a fabric onto that layer. And you know the, the layer that's highlighted because it's blue. So I've got the layer above the front that I created. That blank layer is the one that's highlighted. Okay, so now I'm going to search through my fabrics and see what fabric I want to Maybe I'll just do this one. Okay, so this is this is a, a folder that I have on my computer, and these are actually swatches of fabrics, and I love art gallery fabrics, so I just kind of collect them. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it, left click and drag it right onto my design. And you can see that that fabric filled that blank layer that was highlighted. Okay, so this layer is not going to be big enough to fill that front piece, but I also want to rotate it. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the change, and you have to do that with just about everything you do. You'll, if you ever get stuck and and Photoshop is not responding, it usually means because you didn't accept the previous change. Okay, so I'm going to click on the Move tool, and that's this, this arrow at the very top left in the toolbar. And I'm going to just kind of move it down here. What I want to do is I want the top edge of my fabric to be parallel with the top edge of this front shape. So in order to rotate it, I need to, on my keyboard, click Control-T. That's, that's for transform, T for transform, so control T. And now I've got nodes in the corner, and when I kind of come out with my mouse on the corner, I have two arrows and a half circle, and that lets me know that it's ready to rotate. So I'm going to left click and drag it till it's just parallel. Okay, that looks good. So this top part of the fabric is parallel with this top edge of the folder. Okay, so it's still not going to cover it completely. 
So what I'm going to do is rest it over here in this far corner and click and drag while I hold down my shift key. I'm going to click and drag so it will grow. And the reason I'm holding down my shift key is because I don't want it to lose its proportions. So I want to keep it constrained. So that's why I hold down the shift key. All right, so now it's completely covering that front shape. So now I'm going to click the the check mark to accept the change and then what I want to do is I want to tell Photoshop to cut the fabric out to this shape so in order to do that I've got the fabric highlighted I'm going to hold down my alt key when I hold down my alt key and hover between the two layers the shape layer and the fabric layer that little icon that's showing up is saying okay so you want to cut this fabric out into this shape and so when I see that icon I left click and it cut out the fabric portion to this shape okay so now I'm going to put a solid color in the back part of my folder so to do that I want to click on the blank layer that's above the the back of the folder shape we're going to basically do the same thing. We're going to cut it out, but I'm not going to use a fabric this time. So I'm not going to drag and drop a fabric onto my layer. Instead, I'm going to highlight the layer and I'm going to go to my paint bucket and click on it. Now it's going to fill that shape, the color that is in the foreground. And I don't exactly want that color. I want the a color from my fabric so I'm going to double click on the foreground and when I come out of the, the the foreground color picker window I have an eyedropper tool so I can choose possibly I think I might just choose this orange I think that orange will look good I'm going to click OK and now it just changed my foreground color to that orange so I'm going to click on my design again with the paint bucket tool because I want the orange. Oh yeah, that's going to look cool. Okay, so as you see, it filled up that whole layer because that layer is just the whole shape of the design. So now we want to cut that one out. So we're going to do the same thing. Go to the move tool. Make sure your move tool is, is activated. And it'll be highlighted because it'll have a gray um, highlight around it all right so make sure that your color is the color that's active and it's above the folder back shape and you're gonna hold down your alt key and get that icon every time I, I hover between them that icon flashes and that icon is saying okay so you want to cut the color this this layer out with the layer below it and I'm gonna left click to say okay so there is my folder created. Okay, so now I want to save the file. So you can't see this part, my menu bar, since I'm on the Mac, but you're going to, if you're on a PC, you're going to select File, Save for Web. And that opens up this window. And this is a really big file and it does not need to be this big since you're just making it into an icon so I'm going to highlight the width and change it to 500 and that's a much better size and make sure PNG is selected and make sure transparency is checked I'm gonna click Save and I've already made one and I named it orange folder so I'm just going to click on that so that I save it right over that one click Save and it's saved to my desktop so now I go to Windows okay so we saved it as a PNG file and you can't use a PNG file to make an icon on your folders in Windows. So now we need to convert this. And unfortunately, unless you have a plugin installed on Photoshop, that's not an option. You cannot save a file 
a .ico file. So I have a workaround. I'm going to go to my browser. And this is this really neat little app that you can use in your browser. And it's called iCreateIcons.com. Well, <laughs> didn't find it. I have, I have it saved to my bookmark. I don't know what I typed wrong. Oh, it's iConvertIcons, that's why. It's iConvertIcons.com. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to browse to that folder on my desktop. I have two orange folders on my desktop. Click Open and Convert. Okay, when it's finished, you'll see a message that says conversion is finished. So now I want to download it. And since I'm using Windows, I want to change a Windows folder. I'm going to download it as a uh, Windows file, a .ico file. So I'm going to click the green button. And I automatically have my browser set up to save any downloads to my desktop. And that's something that's really important. That that I teach in my class. That way you're not getting a folder that you don't ever see that gets cram packed with files that you don't need on your computer. If it's on your desktop, if you save everything to your desktop, you're going to have it in your face and you're going to get rid of it if you don't need it or put it away. You'll file it away, trash it, whatever. Okay, so just a little, little tip from my class. Um, okay, so I'm going to click Save and OK and it'll be on my desktop because that's what I've told my browser I want all my files that I download so now it looks like I've got a bunch of bunch of files here that are all the same but they're not if I click on right click and go to properties I see that I have the ICO file is on the bottom okay so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these just so that there's no confusion. Okay, so now I want to change this folder on my desktop to this cute folder we just made. So I'm going to right click and go to properties and then on the top tab I'm going to go to customize and right down here you'll see a button that says change icon click browse to browse to your desktop where that folder or where that icon folder is select it and click open and now you there you see it'll pop up in the window there click OK then you need to apply it and click OK again and now I have a custom folder on one of my folders on the desktop and that's how you can customize your folders on a Windows PC. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, see you in class. Bye.